different sections in single line diagram of a power system so whenever we going to draw the single line representation or single line diagram of uh, the power system uh, the substation uh, like a generating substation distribution substation will be having a different sections in the single line diagram like uh, we'll be having a generator section in a generating substation transformer section and the outgoing line section in the generating substation and when coming to the distribution substation we'll be having incoming section uh, transformer section and the outgoing section here these are the some different sections which comes in the single line representation of the substations so here uh, we'll see how to draw these sections one by one so first i'll take uh, the single line representation of the bus bars here uh, in the previous video i have shown the different types of bus bars so here the different types of bus bars are the single bus bar single bus bar with sectionalizing switch double bus bar double bus bar with sectionalizing switch so here the four main types of bus bar arrangement in the single line diagram representation of a substation and also the main components of the main equipments which are comes in the substation like the generator or alternator uh, circuit breakers isolators ct pt and these are the instrument transformers and the protecting equipments and other equipments which comes in the substation are represented in a symbolic representation in my previous video you have learned all those single uh, all those symbolic representation of the power system equipments the main equipment which comes in the power system substation those are the some symbolic representation and by using those symbolic representation we'll going to see how to draw the or how to write the single line diagram of a substation we'll see in this video now we'll see the single bus bar representation in a single line diagram uh, for that we ne need some uh, incoming lines or uh, some represent some isolator and circuit breaker draw that isolator and circuit breaker so with the standard so we'll go for this isolator and circuit breaker arrangement the 10 mm line and then again the 5 mm line and then again the 10 mm line so this is required and then now we draw the some lines to represent that and now again we'll go for the line and I'll draw 5 mm line at an angle of 45 degree and now we have to move this line to here select the object enter zoom it from the midpoint of this line take the line and then move to the center point of this 5 mm line and then delete the middle line so now we got the isolator section and now we'll draw the circuit breaker for this to specify the dimensions length of the rectangle is 10 mm width of the rectangle is 5 mm and now we got the circuit breaker and now we have to move this circuit breaker to the end point of this line take this point and then move and now rotate this and we can move this object to that end line so here the end point of this line will move this and now we got the isolator and circuit breaker again will copy this part and then we'll move from this point will copy to this and now we got the representation of isolator and circuit breaker and now I'll draw the bus bar uh, for the bus bar so we rep we have to represent that bus bar in a thick line I'll go for this poly line and I'll start drawing here and then type W that means we have to specify the width starting width should be 1 mm and ending width should be 1 mm and now draw the line this represent the bus bar I'll draw 100 mm bus bar and now this part should be moved to this bus bar I'll move this part from this end point to this part and now we have represented a single section here and now again copy and we can represent some more part here and this part and this part and then the representation from 
this point can be here and now we have represented the single bus bar arrangement here you can see this is the single bus bar arrangement for the substation layout this is the single bus bar for this single bus bar the equipment or like incoming lines or outgoing lines are or the generator or the transformers are connected in this way and the same thing uh, sectionalized single bus bar when we include the sectionalizing switch so like the same thing uh, we will go I'll going to copy this part and then I'll do a sectionalized bus bar uh, with a single bus bar select this part and then copy from this part I'll place here and now rotate this part rotate this part to a 90 degree and then again move this part to the end point of this bus bar and now we got the sectionalizing switch and one more thing uh, we can include the sectionalizing switch at this side also uh, when we include this side and now we can include some other part of the substation layout in this side uh, now uh, the sectionalizing switch consists of the current transformer also I'll draw the current transformer here with the help of this polyline like previously we have specified the polyline width as uh, 1 mm and now I'll specify the width as 0 and 0 and now ortho mode on specify the line width 3 mm and then go for arc here arc 3 mm and then inside arc 1.5 mm and then again 3 mm and then go for line and then 3 mm line and now and now we got the current transformer and we have to move this current transformer to this position select this move from the center point of this to here we'll move it. so now this is the sectionalizing switch and the same part this part should be copied and then moved to this end now we got two sections that is sectionalized single bus bar this is the single bus bar arrangement for the single bus bar arrangement we have a, a section 1 and section 2 here uh, in between section 1 and section 2 we have a sectionalizing switch with the circuit breaker and CT so these are the two isolators placed either side of the circuit breaker and one CT to measure the bus current and now we'll see the double bus bar arrangement how to represent the double bus bar arrangement and how to connect the double bus bar with the CT and isolating switches and the circuit breakers so I'll take the polyline I'll select the polyline I'll start with here I'll specify the width starting with as 1 mm and ending with as 1 mm and now we can see the line I'll draw 100 mm and then escape and then same thing copy this line and then paste it 30 mm below that line and now we got the double bus for this double bus we have to connect the isolating switches I'll draw the isolating switches here for that we require this from this 6 mm and then again 6 mm and then again 6 mm and then again 6 and 6 mm lines are drawn these are the five segments which can be drawn in between we are going to place the isolating switches I will copy the isolating switch the center point of this from the center I will copy that isolating switch to here uh, the midpoint of the second line and here the midpoint of the second line and now delete the middle part of that line and now we got the switches of the double bus bar these are the isolating switches which are connected for the double bus bar and now uh, we'll see how to connect the incoming or outgoing or any other uh, generator or transformer section to this double bus bar now we'll see how to connect the transformer section or a generator section or outgoing or incoming line section to this double bus bar we'll see uh, for that we'll require the line from the midpoint of this line take a line I'll take a 10 mm line and then 30 mm line and then here we require 
the jumper at this part so for that i'll draw the circle from the intersection of this line i'll draw 5 mm radius circle and then trim the part which i've shown here the trim this part trim this part this part and this part and now we got the jumper for this bus bar same thing we have to connect for the outgoing lines or any other section which comes in below the double bus bar arrangement so for that i'll select this part and then copy this place it somewhere here and then i'll copy this part and this part and this part and this part and this this part i'll copy and then i'll paste here and then same thing we have to do the mirror image of this part for the below connection and now we have to erase the source object so once we click the erase source object our connection can be extended to this downward or the below this bus bar and the same thing we can copy this part and then we can place at this point or else we can also mirror this part in this line now we got the double bus bar connections for this we can connect the components like this i'll copy this part from the end point of this i'll copy to this end point and this end point and now i'll copy this part from the top end point to this end point and now we have done with the double bus bar arrangement so here this is the single bus bar arrangement and now the complete part with the single bus bar arrangement with the sectionalizing switch we have a section 1 and section 2 and this is the double bus bar arrangement now we'll go for the double bus bar arrangement with the sectionalizing switch and the bus coupler so for this uh, double bus bar arrangement we can also include the bus coupler so here the bus coupler includes a circuit breaker and an isolating switches at the either side of the circuit breaker i'll show i'll show you how to do that so we can take this part and then copy it and just place it here and then just connect the the lines from this point to this point and then again from the bottom of this point to this point so now we got the bus coupler this is the bus coupler for this bus coupler we can include the ct i'll copy the ct from this copy and then rotate the ct to the 90 degree and now we got the bus coupler the bus coupler consists of the isolating switches and the circuit breaker those two isolating switches are uh, placed either side of the circuit breaker and one ct is included in the bus coupler this is the representation of double bus bar with the bus coupler and uh, we can include the potential transformer at the bus to measure the voltage levels at the bus and now we'll go for the double bus bar with the sectionalizing switch i'll copy this part for the double bus bar with the sectionalizing switch and i'll place it here and then i'll copy the sectionalizing switch part from this single bus bar arrangement from this point we'll copy here now this part can be paid this side the left side of the bus coupler here you can see this and now the delete uh, unwanted portions of this okay now we got the double bus bar with the sectionalizing switch now we can see the section 1 and the section 2 so this is the first section and this is the sec second section so here the whatever the components which are present in the substation or the single line diagram uh, that can be equally distributed on the sections here uh, we can have a two incoming lines in the section 1 and one outgoing line in the section 1 and again two incoming line at the section 2 and one outgoing line at the section 2 here you can see or you can differentiate the different type of bus bar arrangement here only this part this part is a single bus bar arrangement and then the complete 
this part is a single bus bar with sectionalizing switch and this part is a double bus bar and this is a double bus bar with sectionalizing switch and also includes the bus coupler here the bus coupler you can see the bus coupler that consists of the isolator circuit breaker and with the CT included in the bus coupler you can see this single bus bar arrangement here and the complete portion is the single bus bar with sectionalizing switch uh, this is the section 1 and this is the section 2 and here this is the double bus bar arrangement you can see this is the double bus bar and this is the double bus bar with the sectionalizing switch